restaurant that was destroyed. The fire is out now, but the investigation continues into what exactly sparked the flames here, this popular barbecue spot on the city's north side. Pittsburgh Action News 4 reporter Chris Lovingood is there with a look at the damage left behind. One by one, neighbors stopped by here on Taylor Avenue to see the damage done to this Wilson's Barbecue. It's a place they say has been a staple in this neighborhood for decades. These same neighbors took a moment to look at the ashes and debris the fire left behind, but it didn't burn away the memories. Several neighbors say were made at the place they consider to have the best ribs and greens in town. I remember Wilson's cooking barbecue. My mom and dad used to come down there. I can remember Wilson's from as far back as five, five years old and it's great. After a fire broke out here around 5.30 Tuesday night, neighbors say they watched on TV as it happened, saying this is a huge loss for the community. That's why I brought my nephew. We had to come take a look at it. Say, this is where we grew up eating barbecue, right here. It might take a lot, you know, of money to rebuild it, but I hope they do, because you can't find no barbecue places on the north side. The owner and another resident escaped the fire, and two dogs were rescued too. Firefighters found the owner trying to put out the fire in the kitchen when they arrived. Two firefighters were injured during all this. And now that the building is heavily damaged, this is a message to the owner from their community. The community will support you. You supported us. You raised us on your ribs. We will support you. On the side of the burned out building, you'll see a piece of the rooftop is just dangling from above. In terms of how this entire fire started, we're still working to hear back from investigators. As soon as we have something, we'll bring that to you. In Pittsburgh Central Northside neighborhood, Chris Lovingood, Pittsburgh's Action News 4.